green cars and more fuel efficient cars. But the smallest cars are just flunking the latest crash safety test. Is it possible to go green and still stay safe? Let's ask Rick Paul from Consumer Reports. Uh, so, Rick, first of all, the study how unsafe are some of these cars? Well, it's, it's no surprise that small cars in a collision with larger cars are going to come out on the short end of the stick. But I think the IHS. Uh, did some tests recently where they uh, pit three subcompact cars against mid-sized cars and of course the subcompacts didn't do well at all. They, they had a lot more damage than the mid-sized cars. Now you know in Manhattan right now we got these smart cars that are all the rage. Those are the ones that look like they've been cut in half. I don't know if you've seen them but they're, they're awfully tiny. They usually only have room for two people. They say, the manufacturer says that they are built like a Sherman tank inside uh, but is that just pie in the sky? Well, they're very small cars, and in the real world, that's going to have a toll. Uh, in, the, in regular crash tests, they actually have done well, but those regular crash tests put a car against another car of the same size and weight. And so uh, that's, that's rarely going to happen in a, if, for a smart car. Yeah, I'll say. There are not too many of them on the road. That's very interesting. Well, there are some other options. I mean, like uh, some of the hybrids are, are pretty, pretty safe, like a, a Prius, right? A Prius is a mid-sized car, and it uh, has a, a good safety rating, uh, and it gets excellent fuel economy. Uh, other hybrids and, and diesels uh, also uh, are, are other mid-sized cars that also do well. And, it, you areas. know, if, if small cars by their very nature are not safe, I would imagine some of the big fuel-guzzling SUVs can be pretty safe to be in, right? Well, certainly in a uh, in a collision, yeah. If you're in a big SUV, uh, then you're going to do better than a, in a smaller car. Uh, again, that's uh, that's always been known. Uh, I think the the real uh, trick is finding the balance that's right for you uh, in terms of uh, crash protection, fuel economy, uh, and uh, and other uh, factors such as reliability and performance. Would you just advise people to stay clear of any small car in general? Well, a lot of people find small cars attractive. Um, they, you know, they get great fuel economy. They're they're cheap to to buy when new. Uh, they're easy to park. Uh, so again, you know, you, you kind of size up your uh, your situation, and and if those kind of priorities are are more important, such as driving around a city where you're not going to be in high speed collisions likely, you know, then then maybe that's okay for you. What kind of car do you drive, Rick? Well, I, I drive a. Uh, test cars, so I drive a different car every week. Oh, you know? you're lucky. <laughs> but we have I, dri I drive the subway. That's, that's how I get around here in Manhattan. Rick, good to see you. Okay. Rick Paul. Thank you.